Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be building some little figurines to go along with the Object 279 that we've been building for the last few weeks. Now, this will be my first time ever painting figurines like this, and I have some like this older one that I got from someone off of a model building site, as well as one that I 3D printed, and the one that came with the kit, of course. But before we paint them, we've got to build them first. So let's get right into that. Starting off with this one, this one is one that came in a other kit, which was, I believe, a TACOM KV-5 hypothetical kit that came out about the same time as this Object 279. I contacted some people who had built this kit before, and he was gracious enough to send it out to me. So, a big thanks to him for that. And just kind of throwing it together, getting it all done, I noticed that probably due to the age or something with this uh, figurine that it really wasn't fitting together or sticking together with normal uh, hobby cement so I just put it together with some super glue just kind of super gluing all of those tight little difficult to get at spots here as you can see these little cables were definitely a little bit of a problem but they had a lot of detail. Now I'm moving on to the one that came with the kit and just cutting it off of all of the sprues. The one that came with the kit as well as the other two that I'm using are very nicely detailed, very good looking uh, figurines that really work well together I think on this diorama that we'll be building in the next few episodes. So starting out we're gonna get into throwing this guy together just kind of getting those little cables. This one, let's say I'm not sure why the black figurine didn't quite work, but this one worked fine with just some normal hobby cement, the normal Tamiya cement that I use for all my kits when I'm building things like this. And these figurines went together pretty well. They don't have the most uh, tight or perfect fitment where everything would fit up, but it allows you to kind of move things and get things lined up where you want them. So, after spraying these with just a little bit of primer, same primer I use for everything, I started painting. I started out with the black details, just kind of going through, not being all too careful because we'll be painting over most of the other areas anyway, so that will be covered up. Now, as I said, this is my first time doing any figurines like this, so I'm really not the best at it. But I think these came out pretty decent. Of course, just getting them thrown together. Now one thing I do wish I did right from the beginning here was leave them on the sticks and holders I had glued them on when I originally primered them with my airbrush. That would have made painting these a lot better. And I ended up actually doing that later on. So just really getting these dark areas, these black areas really filled in this 3D printed one here, it has a lot more subtle, smaller details than the other ones, so I just took my time making sure to get into all the little cracks and areas, just to make sure. Then, I moved on to using this nice army green, just to paint kind of some of the details. I painted this guy's backpack, as well as painting some of the satchel bags and filter bags that these kits have, as they are much more of a almost liquidator or hazmat soldier look to them, which I think goes really nicely with the 279. And as before, not being too careful here as they will be getting a full coat over the normal body, as well as I'll be going back and touching all of them up. Now, this probably isn't the most efficient way to do all this, but it's the way that worked for the first time here. So, now just really finishing up. I decided to paint this tank on the back of this one soldier green just to kind of make some little difference into it. Just to kind of make it look a little more interesting than painting the tanks completely black. After that we'll be doing some of the little leather straps that the kits have as of course they wouldn't be the exact same color at least in my mind and it really makes them kind of pop out and look different from the rest of the kit making those big flat areas that their suits would have not as boring and a little more visually interesting. So I just kind of went over painting up those areas. This 3D printed one here had some shoulder and knee pads 
So I just kind of painted those up the same leather color, making them look all good, just really adding some detail. Trying to fill in, not really caring if I overspill or get on the main suit area. And then I painted the stock of his rifle. Now for this, I didn't have a wooden color on hand, so I just mixed up a brown and that same leather color that I was using before, and it worked pretty well. I don't really know which ratio I used, I just kind of mixed them together until they looked good. So, I can't really say what exactly I used here, but just kind of mixing a ratio together, testing, testing on a blank piece of paper or plastic, and it really just kind of makes everything look fine. After that, we're going to be finally getting into the actual painting of these. Now, I used a kind of bluish green color. It's not the exact color to what they show on the box for the figure that comes with this object 279, but it's fairly close, and in the end, I think it came out pretty well. On camera, it doesn't look as blue as it is in person, and it kind of looks pretty close to that primer, but in the final shots, when I have them nice there, you'll see much more of the color, as well as my blue background doesn't help all too much. So, really just getting into all of the folds and things of these guys' coveralls, just making sure to get all over and get everywhere with it. Now, once I've got the main bodies painted, I'm just gonna go back and cover and touch up some of the little details that either got brushed over or missed or messed up in the previous painting process. As you can see, I also glued the figurines back onto the little uh, skewers that I was using before, and this just really helped make everything good and way easier to paint. So getting all of those little black touch-ups, you can see here where some of the hoses going to his gun, or his flamethrower in this case, got kind of messed up. So, just going and touching those back up. This guy, the leather got messed up and kind of painted over. So, going back, really getting in there, trying to just touch up and make that leather look a lot better. And then, with that, we'll be on to doing just a few more little touch-up pieces on this 3D printed one. Just getting him, you can see, when I say I'm really not very good at this small type brushwork here, I don't have much practice with it, so really just wanted to kind of go up and fix the mistakes I had made in the past. And with that, pretty much done, except I'm just going to add some little silver areas here and some little shiny pieces, like the lenses or the scopes on the rifles, just to kind of add things and a little bit of pop to them. And so, coloring in the little lenses on there, and then as well, once they're colored in, going back and just kind of cleaning up with a wet brush. That's the good thing about using these acrylic paints, is you can kind of just clean them up with some water and paint. As well, I added some little silver detailing to the back of the tanks and kind of where the little hinges and connecting tubes go on these tanks. Just once again, just to add a little bit of interest to it. And finally, getting the one figure's rifle, just painted up because it didn't have to glue it on, so just painted it separately, getting it look real nice. And with that, we're pretty much done. So I found first time figure painting pretty decently. And as you're about to see here, I think they came out pretty good for first time I've ever done something like this. Now, I've definitely learned a fair bit here and I'm gonna improve and try and get better the next time I do figures, of course. So, if you wanna see more stuff like this as well as building the diorama and some little added custom bits for the Object 279, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn those notifications on if you wanna see when the next upload comes out, and I'll see you in the next one.